happened so fast. One day, I'm, I'm 15 years old, I'm excited, then the next, I'm, I'm out, and you tell the man ain't gonna never go home? That's kind of like hard to deal with. You get sentenced to life in Florida, you walk into prison, you get carried out. That was it. There was nothing more for Kenneth. And then the US Supreme Court comes up with this decision that says kids are different. They think differently, they act differently, they should be treated differently in the criminal justice system. It's not making a determination at the age of 14, 15, that you're irredeemable. Kenneth was 14 years old at the time of the first offense. Over the counter, in your face, guns to the head. I'm not sure if Kenneth Young knew the consequences, quite frankly. At that age, they really don't. Do you see Kenneth coming out? Do I see Kenneth coming out? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Judge has total discretion, total discretion. Kenny Young should have been tried as a juvenile and they should have tried to salvage this child instead of throwing him away. That's not my son. I know that's not, you know? And then when I found out who he was with, I just really broke down and cried. So this is the first time you are saying that you could have ever told anybody of why you had to commit these armed robberies. No, I told that to my public defender about the story of what happened. She do not want to hear that. She was concerned about the charges, what's in front of her. There's no point of keeping him in prison. What's the point? He's been rehabilitated. We can prove that. You know, when they say your life flashes before your eyes, it does. I'm not ready to have him walking around where I live, and I'm not moving. Please, Your Honor, help me put my family back together. Over a decade in prison for some bad things you did as a juvenile, it could well be enough punishment. 